Hi, folks. This is Pastor Jordan Counts of Park Avenue Baptist Church in El Dorado, Kansas. We are located at 1101 South Arthur, uh, just south and west of Skelly Elementary School. Hey, we've been continuing to worship and study God's Word. Uh, Wednesday nights, we've been studying the book of Mark, reading big chunks of Scripture and and reflecting on it, and on Sunday mornings, we are uh, reading scripture, we're reflecting on it, we're singing songs, and we're praying. Uh, I've been encouraged to hear uh, in the news lately that there's been a revival that started at Asbury, uh, Asbury College in Kentucky, and it spread all over the land, and someone... Uh, asked if they could bring in cameras and they said no we'll come and talk to you because really i believe what they're doing and what we're doing is uh our audience is for one and that is the triune god father son and holy spirit um this past wednesday just for some reflection we read from mark 6 30 through uh, mark 8 30. And those scriptures, just to highlight some of the awesome uh, reminders of who Jesus is. Jesus fed the 5,000. They were following. Uh, all sorts of people were following him. That's 5,000 plus family. And there were remote spots, so Jesus took what they had and created something out of nothing and had enough to feed the 5,000 with 12 baskets left over. Then he went off for some time to pray and he sent his disciples across the way and he came walking to him on the water and they were scared. That body of water uh, is known, and I, I once heard that it's still known, for having storms that come up quickly and they were they were afraid and they came he came walking to them and said it's okay i'm here and he got onto the boat and the winds calmed people kept following him a woman was an un uh, oh no excuse me then the the pharisees come and ask jesus why aren't you all this stuff was going on there he's feeding the 5,000 he's healing uh, people he's chasing out demons and the, and the Pharisees come and say why aren't your disciples washing their hands something to think about anyway um, and Jesus had a, a word or two to say to them that you're really trying to lift up your, your human uh, traditions over God. And then there's, as he left the crowd and he entered a house, and uh, the disciples asked, What's going on here? And Jesus reminded them that they still, they were still learning too, and re who he was. Um, and said, it's not what we take into the body that defiles us, but what comes comes out of our heart. And then a woman, uh, the, they call her the Syrophoenician woman. And he tried to go somewhere where people wouldn't see him, but they he knew about it. <laughs> In fact, uh, a woman came and asked Jesus to come heal her daughter who had a an evil spirit that were causing it was causing her ill illness and other things uh, ramifications and and since she wasn't a Jew you know Jew, Jesus said you know I'm here to first feed the the Jewish my Jewish heritage the people of my Jew Jewish heritage and I love the response that the woman said you know even the dogs get a uh, pick up the scraps off your children's table. And he said, good answer. 
Let's go home. Your your daughter's healed. And again, then he heals a, a, a deaf and mute, mute man. And they continue. And Jesus feed, uh, feeds another 4,000 plus. And they go on. And Jesus, the Pharisees showed up again. Why? And came and they began to question Jesus to test him. They asked him for a, a sign from heaven. He highly deep, he sighed deeply and said, why does this generation ask for a miracle sign? I tell you the truth, no sign will be given to it. They were looking for the gossip, if you will. They were looking for the something to put on the news. Jesus was dealing with people. And then, though, there's one more healing in this. Uh, and before the healing comes, the disciples came and they 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 took it they 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 left that crowd to go to someplace peaceful to reju rejuvenate, and they forgot and only took one loaf of bread with them. And the disciples, at some point in time, uh, on that time away, going to that peaceful spot, said, "Lord, we only have one loaf of bread." What are we going to do? Still hadn't realized who they are dealing with. I said, and he reminded them, you know, we fed the 5,000 plus, fed the 4,000 plus, and you're concerned that we just have one loaf of bread? And then again, he heals the blind man. And at the end of this section of scripture, uh, when Jesus finally says, so who do the people say you are? And they, they give the response of what the public was saying. But then uh, Jesus says, how about you, Peter? And Peter finally has gotten it. He said, you are the Christ. And Jesus warned them not to tell anyone about him, but we know how that went. That's when things happen. So the two conversations I want you to think about, as I have went through, uh, gone through the uh, the words that because he lives, I can face tomorrow. It's not because a great man lived a long time ago. And did some miraculous things. Jesus was saying to the to the Pharisees and the disciples, reminding them who they had encountered. The Pharisees were more concerned about, well, you didn't do the things the proper ritual way. I'm not saying there is not a place and for traditions that we can use that to remind us of some key elements of everything that Jesus is offering us. And then the disciples who had watched all this happening, feeding two different groups of people, Jesus calming the storm, Jesus uh, healing the man who couldn't hear or speak. And they were worried about not having enough food. We only have one loaf of bread. Jesus wants us to encounter him. Because he lives today. All this that Jesus has offered back then in scripture is he is still alive today. Because he lives. Because he has done all this before. He will do it and is doing it again. I do not believe that Acts miracles stop happening some time ago. There's a group of uh, school of thought called secessionists who believe that miracles don't happen anymore. I don't believe that. 
I believe Jesus is still alive. And we are still worshiping the God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit, the one triune, almighty, and amazing God. In his name we pray. Amen. Hey, you know where we are? Give us a call. We are here for a, with an audience of one, with God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. That's the triune God. Jesus loves you, and so do we. Give us a call. Stop by. He's, he is alive. We can face tomorrow because he lives. We are expecting in, in faith, giving each day to God for us. Park Avenue's next chapter of what he will do. Of what we will do with him as part of his kingdom building. Amazing self. Hey, Jesus loves you and so do we. Hope to see you or talk to you soon. God bless.